Hey guys, Infidel 1258 here. Today I want to get into another rank grind video, which means I'm going to do try and do three, four, five battles in modern and we'll see what we see. Hopefully it'll give us some interesting talking points. I am continuing to strive for diamond or even champion within the modern league. I'm definitely chasing after that extra SPS. Uh, I understand that there's some people who are discouraged or dissatisfied with the existing rank experience, maybe because what they liked before with how much SPS they were getting and what league they could choose, they they enjoyed all that. I understand. I'm trying to make, uh, let's say, lemonade with lemons. And so I'm enjoying the rank experience now. And today we're going to do more of it. If that sounds interesting. Stick around, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. And if you leave comments on the channel, please do so on every video. I re read them regularly and try and turn it into content. Okay, let's get into it. So right now I'm at, uh, you know what I want to say before I go any further is I did see after some talking about how he's making a move back into sort of botting and letting the, uh, the bot do what its thing in wild. I guess I agree in some sense. And yet I come to a different conclusion. Like I, I just want to say I, I, I definitely see that modern has become challenging to climb. Like I have an extraordinary deck and it's hard to climb out of gold. And if it's hard for me to climb out of gold, that means it's frustrating for those who have good or you know good but not perfect decks because they have to run into people like me and so I, I understand a lot of the frustration but I wonder I'm continuing to hope that I am going to get out of your way and move into diamond or champion and that will be one less player and hopefully people who are like me who have significant decks but maybe lack of a certain prowess are going to climb eventually and I you know, I don't have any proof, but I, I, you know, I do suspect whether it's bots or battle helpers in modern, because sometimes I just see these picks and I go, wow, you know, the, the level of accuracy or, but I don't have any, I can't prove anything. So I'm not going to go too far down that rabbit hole. All I'm saying is I understand that it's frustrating and I understand some people want to even maybe move to more wild. For me, I want those SPS, man. And yet I agree with them in one major context and, and I'll, I want to restate this because maybe it seems like I only play in modern, which I only play in modern, but I still have a bot on this account and I let it play whenever my energies, you know, whenever I can't do it essentially. And so we play a lot in wild and that's how I'm getting a number of chests. And before I let's just queue up one more battle uh, and then I'll finish the thought because there's only really one more thought I want to say on this. I think there's going to be a really interesting opportunity to to do that where it's like the bot can play when I can't in wild and really collect what is going to amount to a lot of glint eventually. Um, I think that's the freight or the term, but ultimately I want to when I'm available to play, I want to play in modern by myself, human to human and collect as much space as possible. That's my vision, my plan, and um, that's how I'm getting the most out of it. So I kind of agree and yet I, and, I'm, and yet I'm approaching it differently where I'm focusing on modern every day I can and I'm letting the bot do what it can when I can't trample blood and sunder and okay hmm. trample makes me think blue go blue he's got the trample right there I just want to quickly see what my trample options are from every sphere. So I got some green ones. I got blue. They don't necessarily need to bring a summoner who enables trample if I can. I don't need it if the rule set enables it. You know what I mean? If what I mean to say is if I've already if I have a summoner, a different summoner that's not possibilis then maybe i could do a trample without bringing his ability to play but i don't really love that i think i'm just going to go ahead and yeah we are going to lean into possibilis boom then we can't do opportunity actually which is one of okay 40 seconds quick 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 go speed tempted to go try dispels quite I feel like dispels quite common these days I'm gonna use you because I want that chatter and I think I have a lot of mana to deal with or to to bring to bear 
If they bring Snipe, I feel like Snipe is more common in this rule set where you've got Fog of War. So I'm bringing a look out for second position. I gotta hurry a bit. I'm gonna bring a repair. Oh, I want that. I want this repair. And then I got, oh man, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna bring you too. That's that's a lot of repair. I got one, two, th I think I brought three repairs. One, two, three. And I have void armor, which should bode well. But then they also, the rule set had that rust element. So we'll see how it works out. Not rust, but you know what I mean? This uh, thunder or whatever it is. Blood and thunder, which will eat up my armor. But I have two protects that add to it. So I lose two every impact. So the the triple repair was a bit of a mistake because of the the armor or blood and thunder issue, but I might win just on nature of having Archimedes versus the coastal sentry over here. We got five bomb, five bomb that are going to be nerfed, but this swamp spider is going to be double or giant giant killing me, which is a big beast mode move against the Archimedes. And I didn't bring a, a heal even, and the repairs are all pretty much useless at this point because the armor is a sundered away or whatever. You got six bomb. And then in comes the one. Uh, I'll finish a thought I was raising earlier. This uh, palace in the second spot, it made some sense to me because when the rule set includes fog of war, that means snipe is a is attacking the first position, and so you bring in the you bring in the um, lookout for that second spot, and maybe you're gonna nerf the snipe damage. It ended up not being relevant, and we are going to definitely lose, but... I didn't have enough support damage. I didn't really build the right team around Blood and Sunder. I did think about going, like, straight magic. And, uh, kind of regretting I didn't. We're at 2660. Oh, there we go. Gotta go straight magic. So, from a... From an entirely magic perspective or wands out rule set, I'm still, I feel like my red team is not there. Like if I was to go like this, the, my immolation is only level one. You know, E Free Rising is an interesting card when the back to basics rule sets out, but not not in this context. Eternal, Infernal, Infernal Firestorm. I'm really surprised I haven't leveled that guy up yet. This isn't going to work. And Immortalis is obviously a strong pick in this context and probably where we end up landing. But there's also Thaddeus is an interesting opportunity, maybe. Grandmaster Wraith, if I brought. Oops. I like bringing him, is, is where I'm, part of where my head's at. Yeah, that's interesting, maybe, but I don't think so. I think we. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like Zebijin actually. And then check this out. This is something I've been doing a little bit. You bring the Protect from Queen Massilia. Now he's gonna have four armor and he will hit for four, plus he's gonna get the, um, you know, a, a, a small little magic attack off. And then we gotta bring, you bring the Taunt, but the Taunt gives double duty to Queen Massilia because the Massilia is providing Protect, which increases your armored strike with your Zebijin. But then the Massilia also has Triage, which, which supports the uh, Slip Spawn. And then you bring, obviously you bring Rune Manster. Now I am running out of hit points. This is, another triage is really key. Double triage. But, hang on a second, he doesn't have flight and he's going to die real quick. So now the question... Hmm. I think I want to pull away from Rune Master Flore maybe, but that I, I, I feel confident that that archery is going to come in handy. Yep. I think that's going to be end up being key, the archery. This is obviously clutch because, oh man, see, no, we are going to, we're going to go Dr. Blight and we're going to bring, there we go. Now I got a flyer and I got a, um, oh, and I got, and then we bring that guy because you need the silence plus the tank heal. Now, I don't have enough flyers and I didn't bring the archery damage. 
but he's got triple fly and he's got more hit points maybe even debatable no i probably have more hit points because i have this over here with the 12 which will be a distraction for most if not this wherever the cast if the cast dragon ends up hitting my dr blight on turn one or something or for that matter queen mycelia where you know that that's really really bad rng for me but if i get lucky on where the placement of this guy goes you know we could be we could be just fine so we are only we only have one armor now because there's a rust over here somewhere yeah rust there There we go. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good with this. And the armor protecting me too from the earthquake. Yeah, I feel pretty solid. see any way I I end up dropping this one mm -hmm. I don't think anyways lots of misses are definitely a, a potential problem for me that's a big hit now we're good there it is boom 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 dead carry on so we are 120 RP out. This is only my second season in trying to fight through modern and last season I started in silver. And so I feel like as long as I make it into high diamond this season, and there's eight days left, almost eight and a half. I feel like that's to be expected. I feel like it's norm, normal. There's been a lot of salt lately in uh around the game critical stuff and i and i really the more i think about it the more i feel it's, it's this is the cause of that like well, indirectly of course but man it's hard to stay optimistic hopeful you know confident when sps goes from four cents to two but to me it's just part of the wave it's just part of the normal up and down of a crazy volatile cryptocurrency market in a micro cap coin that you know practically no one owns and for you know the sentiment shifts that happen in crypto let alone a game like splinterlands which is such a small entity at this moment it's you know that happens it happens and and the the ebb and flow of price points are really sometimes terrifying and then you compound that issue with, because it's not just the fact that SPS is cut in half from four cents to two, but it's actually also the Bitcoin has continued to thrive and, you know, other tokens too. And so then there becomes this jealousy that that wrestles in my own heart. So I bet is part of your story too. You start to feel like, oh, every other co token is doing so great, but not SPS. And that's uh, jealousy capitulation. It threatens to force us to give up. Oh, I'm just going to sell it. It's never going to go up. And to me, that's a good sign that that, that is stirring because it just points me back to, you know, when others want to sell, that's when I usually want to at least hold strong. If not buy more, it's where I want to hold strong. Melee only, Noxus Fumes. So I'd like to bring Scavenge, but I don't know how many Scavengers I have from an up-close personal combat standpoint, like Melee. Hmm. Well, this could be interesting with Lob Lowland. It's a pretty small team at that point. I really like the idea of bringing Astral Entity. Oh, hang on. Okay, daughter uh, needed me. So now I got 40 seconds of Astral Entity because the Resurrect is interesting, but I don't think so. I think we are gonna try. Oh, I feel so torn and I have no time to decide. Okay.
kind of like the mm -hmm. so the rooney has a self res which which clears it of poison when it comes back i have one more res over here i've dodge i've thorns i've self heal i like my sustainability and then we have um you know quite a bit of damage capacity but He's got the opportunity, which is going to eat me over here, and then he's going to focus fire. I don't know. I don't know. I I kind of like what I'm seeing, but we'll see. I think I feel okay about this. I know that this bandit is like threatening to really gut me, but he is the only sneak attacker on the team, and I you know he's coming right from the back line, and we have a whole divine shield. I know. I think we're going to be okay. Plus, poison is going to kill his team faster than my team. Why? Because I have a, I have two reses on my team. He has one, he has no reses really. He has one immunity, but I have that immunity as well. Yes, of course he has a heal over here, but Zenith Monk's not even doing any damage right now. Now, I guess I did use my one res over here on the corpse fiend. But that did create more distraction so that the Rooney didn't go down sooner. And now the Rooney is now being shot in the round three, which is okay because it was going to die anyways this round, right? Because of the Noxious Fumes, it's down to one hit point. It was going to die regardless. And now it dies here, it comes back without the poison, and it will have armor and a one hit point. Okay. Good. Look, things looking good. The poison's gonna finish off two of his. Yeah, we're we're solid now. So the double res. I'm glad. To, I'm glad I went that direction. Okay, and after this, I'm actually gonna call it now because my little one needs me. So um, maybe that was was that three battles. Twenty seven hundred though. That's good. Twenty seven hundred. We are a hundred points out. Three battles. Okay, let's claim these and we'll call it. Tomorrow, I hope I can push in the diamond. Maybe even tonight after the kids go to bed. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, I'll leave it there then. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you're having an amazing day. God bless.